Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, solving a addition problem with decimals. Um, right now we have um, two places to the right of the decimal point. We have our tenths and hundredths, and then we have two places to the left of the decimal point. We have ones and tens. Um, so this is using base ten blocks um, to show what's happening. Uh, so when we're adding something, we're going to combine. We are wanting to combine the two different numbers. Um, so we're going to take the one hundredth here and six and twenty one hundredths. And we're going to add it to the hundredths that are uh, to the bottom number. Now, if I count these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I see that there's 10 in the hundredths. Well, we know we can't have 10, so we need to make a rod. We're going to go ahead and make a rod. Then we're going to carry that 1 over. And now we need to add these to it as well. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So our answer is 7 and 40 hundredths. Okay, now we have a new problem. We have 2 and 85 hundredths added to 4 and 48 hundredths. So again, we start with our addition on the far right place value, which is hundredths. And again, we do have the decimal point lined up. When we're adding, you do want all the place values lined up exactly as they should be. So let's start adding. We have 8, 9, well, 10. Now we need to group these. And that forms a tenth. We're going to move that tenth over. Okay, so right now we have these three hundredths. Three hundredths. Well, this sure looks like we have a bunch here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So let's bring another five down. One, two, three, four, five. That makes ten. So we need to group these. Now we have another group. We're going to move that group over. Okay, and we are left with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three. Uh, seven and thirty-three hundredths. So seven ones, three tenths, and three hundredths. So two and eighty-five hundredths plus four and forty-eight hundredths equals seven and thirty-three hundredths. Okay, now we have three digits, three place values to the right of the decimal. We have 319 thousandths added to 178 thousandths. So again, we start grouping on the right-hand side. Uh, 8, 9, 10. So we need to turn those into a place, into a group of uh, 100, and move that over. And um, I think that's all we have to do. Now we're going to combine these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One, two, three, four. So our value, our uh, sum of three hundred nineteen thousandths plus one hundred seventy-eight thousandths is four hundred ninety-seven thousandths. All right. Now we're going to look at seven hundred thirty-eight thousandths plus fifty-nine thousandths. Again, we're going to start on the right-hand side. We have nine down here. Now we have ten. So we're going to group those. When we group it, we have to bring it over to the next place value of hundreds. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we don't, can't group those because it's 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 738 thousandths plus 59 thousandths is 7, 9, 7, or 797 thousandths. Okay, now we're going to look at 3. And 383 or 388 thousandths plus 1 and 645 thousandths. So again, we start in the thousands. Uh, we have 5 down here, so we want to bring that. It's uh, 5, 6. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so now we're going to group these, and we bring that over, so that leaves us 3 here, we can't do any more grouping here, let's count how many we have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let's group these, that gives us 1 tenth, so we bring that over. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need four more. One, two, three, four. Group those together to give us one, one. We put that over, and our total is five and.